All right, I'm here with Austin St. John, the original Red Power Ranger. I'm very excited. I'm definitely a huge fan. Could you tell me a little bit about any new possible projects coming up? Oh, well, I've got a movie, uh, Survival's End. I actually will start shooting this Thursday, Friday in Orlando uh, for the movie trailer. So we're doing the trailer this weekend. And then we start the filming. We push that to uh, the end of July. So we're finishing up casting, I think, two very important roles. And we're, uh, we're really excited. That's very cool. God, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> so uh, what brought you to the Bangor, Maine Comic Con? Uh, well, Chris, the owner, uh, contacted my agent, Zach, and uh, said, hey, we're doing a new show. It's really cool. We're excited. Uh, we'd like to have you here. And I thought, you know, I haven't been up there. And it's probably cold because everywhere I go is always hot. Yeah. So, uh, And then I get up here and people are like, well, the cold part's over. You, yeah. just, you just missed it. And I'm like, no. Yeah, we've just gotten through a bunch of big storms, so. <laughs> yeah. and so. I think people think I'm nuts because I'm sorry I missed it. <laughs> so. Well, that's fine. So, um, how are you liking it so far, Bangor? I love it. Everybody's been really friendly, you know, wide open. I had some blueberry beer last night at Sea Dogs. Uh, yeah. So, uh, you know, it's just been relaxed, and that's nice, as opposed to some of the bigger shows where. They're so big and the lines are so long that you never have a moment to do an interview or to just shake hands and talk and um, getting to meet people and hear their stories. So it's really nice. Very cool. And I have to ask, how was it being a Power Ranger? Because I'm a huge fan of the entire Power Rangers and I just, I, I have to know. I tell you what, I was a 17 year old boy when I got started and um, I got paid to do martial arts, be a superhero. And uh, then it became a global phenomenon. So I got paid to do it some more, and I loved every part. Uh, I mean, I was typecast. I was a teenager with attitude. So uh, I, I it just it couldn't have been more fun. A lot of hard work, but it was a lot of fun. Could you just tell me a little bit about your fan base? The fans? Yeah. Wow. Well, <clears throat> depending on what, where you go to look at the numbers, I'm told, and we try to debate now, which numbers are where, but it airs in about 40 countries. It's been dubbed into 90 different languages. And uh, there's no other show like it in history. And uh, the fans, specifically, are they're the ones that made it what it is. You know, all of our success um, came from the love and the wonder and the excitement that the fans brought to the show. Um, you know, without any of them, we couldn't, have, none of us would be here. So uh, it's always incredible to meet the fans. And the last time I saw them, they were this big and, you know, hiding behind mom's leg and, you know, getting embarrassed. And yeah. now I'm meeting them and they're bringing their children and their moms and their dads. And they're all talking about where they were in their lives. And they're teaching their little ones, no, no, this is the season you need to watch, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and so it's just, it spans, you know, three generations now. And I just, I love meeting the fans and hearing everything about it. Well, that's amazing. Well, it was definitely a pleasure meeting you and talking to you. So thank you very much. My pleasure. And hope to see you for the weekend. Yes, ma'am.